First, make sure to set up the reflection probe. It is required to render reflections on the water surface. The following steps may vary. To create water in HDRP, add the liquid container. It's the zipper liquid object. Specify the custom light in the reflection probe parameters. Now adjust the container size. It should cover the entire volume where you want the liquid to be in. If you increase the size of the container, changing the grid resolution is recommended. In this scene, we put it at 220. Launch the scene and check the result. To make the water in SRP, create the zebra liquid object. Configure the container size according to your needs. It should cover the entire volume of your liquid. Now set the reflection probe. Tweak the grid resolution. It will help you balance performance and quality. Launch the scene and check to see how the simulation works. To make the water in URP, you should also start with the basics. Add the liquid container, zipper liquid object. If you are setting up liquid in your project for the first time, you'll see the request to add to a URP liquid rendering component in the zipper liquid inspector. To do this, go to the project settings, graphics and click on the scripting render pipeline setting tab. It will show you the location of the current render pipeline configuration file. Click on the current renderer in the inspector window. You will be able to see the location of the render pipeline renderer file. Open that renderer file and add the liquid URP render component. The URP liquid rendering component error should disappear if you did everything right. Now configure the reflection probe parameter and set the container size so it covers the whole volume of your liquid. Adjust the grid resolution to balance performance and quality. Launch the simulation. Note that in URP, the liquid will only be displayed in a game view, 